Hey YouTube, what is up? It is Mitch. Um, this video is uh, about the viral uh, math question about Cheryl's birthday. And it's, yeah, it's pretty popular. It's pretty viral going around and people are having a hard time figuring it out. Um, there are some videos that try to explain how it works. Um, I'm gonna try to explain it better. I hope I, I can be successful, but you know, we'll see, here it goes. So here is the the problem. Cheryl has a birthday and it's one of these, <clears throat> excuse me, it's one of these 10 dates. And she's going to tell her friends, Albert and Bernard, uh, different information about her birthday. So let's figure out what that is. So Cheryl tells the month to Albert and the day to Bernard. I keep hearing people say Bernard, Bernard, uh, I don't know if it matters. It, what matters is the month is being told to Albert and the day is being told to Bernard. So what I want to do is kind of, there are three clues to this problem. What I want to do is just take each clue one at a time, uh, just to kind of dissect it, not look at the whole thing at once and try to explain how we get the answer. So. Albert says, I don't know the birthday, but I know Bernard doesn't know either. So again, Cheryl tells the month to Albert and the day to Bernard. And from that, Albert says, well, I don't know the birthday. So we can come over here and look and see that you're right. Albert wouldn't know the birthday. It could be May, June, July, or August. How is Albert supposed to know the the birthday by just getting the month. But take a look at this clue. This clue is huge. He says, but I know Bernard doesn't know either. So that's a huge clue because that's going to help us eliminate some of these dates. How would Albert know that Bernard doesn't know either? So what you have to do is, and this is a, this could be a really confusing part of the problem here is to figure out, well, how does Albert know that Bernard doesn't know either? So what you have to do is you, you got to have to kind of put your, your um, situation here as if you were Albert. So watch this. Let's pretend that Albert uh, got the month of May. So he's sitting there with the month of May and Bernard isn't saying anything. He's not saying that he knows what Cheryl's birthday is. Now here's what we can do. We can kind of take a look at this and go, well, how would Albert again know that Bernard doesn't know? Could, uh, I mean, let's pretend Albert got the month of May and he's sitting here going, hmm, does Bernard know the birthday? So we're taking a look at what kind of sticks out here, and what sticks out is this May 19th. If Albert got the month of May, and he knows that Bernard doesn't know the birthday, then he basically knows, well, yeah, he, Bernard would have said something if he had gotten May. But again, you would think, well, what about May 15th and May 16th? But again, Albert knows that Bernard doesn't know this birthday either. Now, how would he know that? If I have May and I'm looking at all of these dates, here's how I know that he couldn't have May is he's not, he's not able to say that he knows the birthday. So again, that eliminates May 16th and 15th. And let me explain that again, the reason why, because a lot of folks get confused. Why does that eliminate these two dates also? I'm looking, again, I'm thinking as Albert, and I know that Bernard doesn't know the birthday. How do I know that he doesn't know the birthday? Because he could not have had, I'm looking at it going, well, he, he doesn't have 19 or else he would have said. And how would I know that? He must not have anything in May. So again, let me, let me try to explain that. Albert gets, let's say he does get the month of May. 
he knows that Bernard doesn't know the birthday and that that he's not jumping up saying I know it's the birthday because I have May 19th but again Albert knows that Bernard doesn't have any of these numbers because if he had gotten May he would have said something and Bernard I mean Albert just knows that he doesn't know the birthday Bernard doesn't know the birthday and another <clears throat> date sticks out too is if Albert had gotten June uh, Bernard could have had 18 which if you look at this board there's no other 18 so again if we're thinking like Albert we have to put on the mind of Albert if he had gotten if Albert had gotten June um, he uh, Bernard could have had the 18 and there would have been some doubt I think that's the big word here is doubt if Albert had gotten May there would have been doubt whether or not Bernard knew the birthday but there's no doubt so that eliminates obviously June 18th and again it eliminates June 17th <clears throat> and one more time the issue here is doubt Albert has a month where there's doubt there's doubt um, that what, what, is, what is this birthday? I don't know. But he knows that Bernard doesn't know either. So again, that's why we can eliminate May, the, all the months or the dates of May and June. <clears throat> because in um, Albert's mind, there's no doubt that Bernard doesn't know. Bernard just doesn't know. And so the only thing that could leave us with is the dates of July and August. I hope I explained that good, but mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. So let's go to the next clue. Then Bernard says, "I didn't know at first, but now I do know." So again, we're kind of repeating what Albert had said. Because of the number that Bernard got, he didn't know at first, but now he says, "I know." So one more time, Bernard says, I didn't know at first. So Bernard, you know, Albert already knew that he had a number that's like, I'm not really sure. But now, because of what Albert says, Bernard does now know. <clears throat> so now we have to kind of put our, we have to put on the mind of Bernard. And if we're looking at here, we're looking at these dates. Now, I'm look I'm gonna key in here right now on July 14th or July or August 14th because Bernard says he now knows there would be some confusion in Bernard if if it were a 14 let me see if I can explain that again Bernard says hey I now know and if Bernard had a 14 right now there would be confusion He'd be like, oh, I'm still not sure. It could be July, July 14th or it could be August 14th. But because Bernard does now know, I can cross off those two dates. Because again, there would be confusion if, um, if Bernard didn't know. So right now Bernard does know. So right now we can key in on these three dates. And they're the only ones that are left. And that will be taken care of with our last clue. Albert comes back and says, Now I also know Cheryl's birthday. Okay, so it's kind of like Bernard's clue right now. There is now clarity from Albert. I now know. So there's, if we come back here, we can kind of do the same clue or we can do the same elimination that we did with these July 14th and August 14th dates. Because now there's no confusion with Albert, we can now eliminate these two dates. Because again, if Albert says, hey, I now know, if Albert had had August, there would still be some confusion. Oh man, I don't know if it's the 15th or the 17th. But because Albert says, now I also know, then it has to be the date that's, that doesn't show confusion right here. 
and it would be it would be July 16th. So man, I, I know this is kind of a tough problem. It's one of those problems you have to kind of see yourself as these people, Albert or Bernard, to kind of really understand it. Uh, I hope I did well, um, but thanks for watching anyway, and I hope you can now see the clearly uh, the date was July 16th. Thank you.